What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're gonna be checking out Mega Aquarium. It seems like there's something in the, like I've told you guys this before. It feels like in the indie genre there are like trends and like things that are going on. Like it feels like certain games of a certain genre all come out at the same time. And so recently we had Two Point Hospital. We've got, you know, Synapse, Frozen Synapse 2. We got lots of management building game things coming out right now. And while Frozen Synapse is more of a management game than a building game, I think my point still stands that there's a lot of building stuff coming out right now. There's a lot of management stuff coming out right now. And Meg Aquarium is the newest addition to that roster. So, if you're ready for some indie games here at the Nerd Castle, let's go ahead and check it on out and see what it's got to offer. I really didn't talk about what the game is, did I? Well, it's an aquarium game. So your goal is to build and manage an aquarium. And so we're gonna do that in Sunnyside right now. So let's go Sunnyside up and see what it's got for us. You have been tasked with building a small aquarium from scratch here at Sunnyside. Before the investors release funding, they wanna make sure you can handle basic controls. Okay, I can figure that out. Yeah, I pan the camera. Ugh, panning it. Hover over an info button. That's a warning button right there. Ooh, did it. And then we can orbit the camera, like so. We can, oh, we can go zoomies. All right. And then we can return to home. We can apparently just press the H key for that. Dude, what's up with the music right now? I feel like I'm in like an Imagine Dragons music video at the moment. Oh, there's gonna be some being like, ah, yeah, like, over the top of it. Like Mumford and Sons up in here. Like a one hour banjo solo of music. Alright, great stuff. You just unlocked your first round of funding your aquarium. Use the money to get the basic requirements of your aquarium set up. These are covered in the new set of objectives you've just been given. Alright. So we've got build basic tanks. Let's go ahead and build some tanks. We're gonna be like the military up in here. Where's my building stuff? We got a tool station right there. We got some sea lettuce. We got some small rocks. We've got an azure demoisa. And then we've also got filters, heaters, all that kind of stuff. So we need two basic tanks. Alright, we got basic tanks. These tanks are basic AF, but I figure they'll get it done. And then we got to attach basic filters to both tanks. Does that go inside the tank? Or does that go, like, outside the tank? Oh, you've got to connect it. Gotcha. I suppose that makes sense. Did this one, like, auto-connect? Because it already knew that that one was connected? Oh, interesting. Nice. Okay, so we need basic heaters inside each tank, too. Oh, it gotta go right there. Okay. That's kind of like a messy layout. Like, I don't really like... I, I feel like we could, like, inset that into the wall back here with, like, another corridor where workers could work on it. Like, I'm trying to look after the... I'm trying to look after the customer experience right now. Like, they gotta feel like there's no moving parts out there right in front of them. You know? That's important. You gotta you gotta study Disneyland and figure out what they've done to make everything feel immersive. And I'm trying to be like the next level aquarium. I'm trying to ball out. I'm trying to be that aquarium that everybody talks about, like the Monterey Bay Aquarium, dude. By the way, if you ever come to California, go to Monterey. It's a beautiful city. That's one of my favorite places in California. I love Monterey. Beautiful city when it's not pissing down raining. It's a coastal city, so you just kind of have to accept that it's going to be raining and foggy a lot. But like beautiful place one of the nicest aquariums I've ever seen in my life personally gorgeous aquarium and if you wanted to pay out a little bit more money they got like whale watching you can go like scuba dive with actual biologists out in the bay and they've got like these cool little areas where there's like seals and all kinds of crazy stuff out there absolutely gorgeous you should check it out we got to put some damasson inside each tank yeah, that's cool. Put, like, a bunch of them in there. There we go. Make them happy. Hello, little fishies. An animal in this tank needs to be fed orange pellets. Okay. So we need to add some decorations to the tanks. What do they like? So there's a plant plus one, and there's, like, some rocks. All right, put some rocks in there. Yup. That sounds good. And then also we'll put, like, a sea lettuce in right there. And then this one's just going to be a mirror, but nobody's going to, like, notice because customers don't pay attention to that kind of stuff. All right, so we've mirrored it right there. Everything's looking good. We need an orange pellet dispenser. What's a pellet dispenser look like? So we've got a pellet dispenser right there. How do I rotate stuff? Oh, you just use the middle mouse wheel. Okay. All right, so there's a pellet dispenser, and then we need a tool station. 
where all of the tools can go to like, I don't know, do toolish things, I guess. I suppose I'll put it like, oh man, I don't like any of these spots. I guess I'll put it right there. I don't have a choice. So apparently I need an aquarist. Is that a real thing? I figured they'd just be called marine biologists. An aquarist? I've never heard that word before in my life. I learned a new thing today. We don't have anything to dispense right there. I assume that maybe that's our staff window. Well, there's our aquarist. So I suppose hire her. And then we also have Harry, who indeed has a beard. How lovely and thematic. We'll go ahead and hire Harry too. Harry's been hired. Opens the aquarium. Well done, your basic aquarium is up and running and your first guest has arrived. Whenever a guest enters the aquarium, they'll pay you money. In addition, as they experience your displays, they'll reward you with ecology points, which you can use to unlock new animals for your aquarium. When do I get to get whales? Let me get a whale. I want to put a blue whale inside of here. Because you know that whales and sharks do not do well in captivity. It's tremendously difficult to, to keep an animal that migrates as much as whales and sharks do. So like great white sharks, for example, they traverse the entire ocean. And to this day, we don't even know exactly what great white sharks do when they're not near the coasts. We've tried tracking them, we've tried following them, and frankly the funding just isn't there. Like we just don't know what they do during their time off in the off season. Like we know that vaguely they go over to Australia and then after a little while they cross the ocean back over and they come back over to California and like the southwest coast. But other than that we don't really know anything about great white sharks and every time we've had one in captivity it just like dies of misery. Like, that's it. It just, like, loses the will to live and just, like, dies. Like, I guess some animals just can't be tamed, you know what I mean? Like, some animals just have to be free. Great job. You started to research a new animal, the Orchid Dotty Back. As you earn more ecology points, you will make progress towards unlocking it. You can see your progress in the bottom left of the screen. Oh, yeah, there it is right there. Where are my ecology points at? Only one person came in to see our fishies? That makes me feel like my fishies suck. Ooh, another person came in to see my fishies. There you go. Bask in it. Look upon my fishies. They are the greatest fishies in all the land. We've unlocked the Orchid Dotty Back. Now it's time to buy some for your aquarium. Follow the remaining objectives. Okay. So, pause the game. We got a message? What is that? Did you know you can move animals and decorations between tanks? Select the tank, then do the move tool. Okay. That's pretty cool, just in case I like wanted to do that, but I don't want to do that because I'm lazy and I don't care. So we've paused the game. We gotta explain oh we gotta expand the floor space? What? How do I do that? So we gotta select an expander to oh it's right there, yeah. Okay. What's that gonna cost me? Oh that cost me a grip of cash. That's kind of a cool effect though. I liked it. That was pretty sweet. All right, so obviously we're gonna need like a new tank. We gotta build a basic tank. We gotta build a large tank. Oh, I didn't even realize you could do that. You can make it larger by clicking and dragging. Dude, that was one of those things that I wouldn't have noticed for so long if this game didn't have like hand-holding tutorials. I wouldn't have noticed it. I wouldn't have noticed it forever. Put like a put like a, a sea lettuce in there. There we go. And then we'll put like some rocks in here. That looks good. And then we're gonna get some of these orchid dotty backs up in here. Yeah, orchid dotty backs are killing it right now. I got orchid dotty backs all up inside your business. No, they're not at risk of death. Calm down. They're not at risk of death. We have a filter now. And then we also have a heater. So there you what does that mean right there? Low water quality is reducing the health of animals. Remove some or add more filtering. Oh no. There we go. That looks like it fixed it. Where, what do I do if I don't want this animal anymore? Like, what if I want him to go away? Like, what do I do with this extra or What do I do with this extra orchid dotty back? I don't know what I do with him. Oh, no. How do I fix this? My water quality sucks. So there's different care requirements. You may have noticed a set of icons attached to each animal. Your investors have arranged for you to access a new fish called the Half and Half Chromis. Let's have a look at its core requirements. So it's got like a star. It's got like some ecology points. Size, that's the amount of space it takes up in the tank and what amount it contributes to lowering the water quality in the tank. Okay, suppose that makes sense and requires a water quality of 50%. So ideally, 
When we put those in, the water quality only goes down by a certain amount. Do, can I put in another filter, maybe? Will that fix it? Oh, it did. It fixed it. Yay. I'm sure these things have, like, an upkeep or something like that, though. Like, what do, the, what do these guys eat? They eat orange pellets? They all eat orange pellets? Well, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we need half and half chromuses now. Let's go ahead and chromus it up, my dudes. We're going to chromus out right now. I need the move tool. And then I want that to be, like, flush with a wall. So there we go. They can walk in between those right there. Let's put in a basic filter for right now. And we'll put in a basic heater. And then for the chromis, we need at least four of these. Otherwise, they get upset. Three and four. So they school. All right. You've got a few different species of fish in your aquarium. You should be able to rank up soon. Ranking up will instantly unlock new equipment, decorations, and facilities and increase the repertoire of animals that are available to research. But there's more. The higher your rank, the more guests you attract and the more they are willing to pay to enter your aquarium. Ranking up occurs as a result of generating prestige. These are earned whenever a guest enjoys something in the aquarium. There are many ways to earn, but okay. I'm a big aquarium guy. Like, I like aquariums a lot. I've had aquariums my whole life, and in fact, I haven't had an aquarium in a while because there's a creature called Ollie that lives in my house, and I'm pretty sure he would break it. He's got a very strong hunting instinct, and I just don't think he would leave the fish alone. And so anyways, I've had aquariums pretty much my whole life since I was like five or six years old. I started out with like a little bowl and by the end when I was 18 or 19 my last aquarium was like a 20 or like a 30 gallon and I had like a placostomus in there that was almost like a foot long and like all kinds of crazy stuff man. I've had lots and lots of fish in my lifetime. I love aquariums. They're relaxing. There's our rank up. What did we get? Show him what he's won Johnny. So the combi mini gives you heating and filtering saving you space and maintenance but is only suitable for little tanks. We've got a driftwood cave right there, and then we've got a staff door so that we can have staff areas. That actually sounds really, really good. And then we unlock the king at Demoisson. All right. Now that you're ranked two, we get more animals. Yay. Huzzah. So let's go ahead and research those so that at least our ecology points are going somewhere. We've got people here right now, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and give them like a little driftwood cave right there. I'm sure they would like that. Who doesn't love a little driftwood cave? And then we'll put like a little bush right there for them to hide in too. And then maybe like some rocks like over kind of like around the front of the driftwood. So they've got like a little grotto area that they can hide inside of just in case they're tired of human beings, you know? Like sometimes you don't want to deal with human beings. I get it, man. I'm the exact same way. Sometimes you just don't feel like dealing with a human being right now. And I get it. Oh, I didn't want to move that. No access for staff. Yeah, put that back where it goes. Thank you. So that tank needs an orange pellet. Oh, they all need orange pellets. Maybe I should hire some more people. I'm gonna hire another. I'm gonna hire another guy to feed stuff. Cause I think that sounds like a good idea. We are making money right now though, which is pretty rad. So let's expand out in this direction. I can afford to spend a little bit of cash. I don't want to go like too ham-fistedly crazy, but I can do something right now just to make it a little bit bigger, so that we can keep the aquarium growing and like doing its thing. Everything's okay right there. Access is currently blocked. Okay. We'll then move that over to there. Oh, I'm about to move the whole thing. Hold on. All right, so we're going to shift all this down. No! Oh, it does it on its own. Nice. Okay. There we go. So we'll keep that like that. So we still have, like, accessible areas taken care of. I think on this side we're probably in better shape, but it's cool. Our aquarium's looking pretty dope. I'm enjoying this right now. So what does it want me to do? i got to unlock the King Demoiswain, and then it's a timid beauty. In fact, a wimp. Don't house him with any other animals that have a bully tag. Okay, so that's just, like, real fish. Some fish are aggressive and some fish aren't. you got to keep them separated. Or, like, some fish will only become aggressive if there's another fish of the same species in the area. And so, for example, if you have, like, a... God, it's been so long since I've had fish. I don't remember the specific breeds that did this, but, like, there are some fish that only become aggressive. Like, you can have them in the tank with a bunch of other fish, but the second you put another fish of their species in there, they'll kill everything. And it'll just be a battle to the death, and there'll be nothing but, like, scales and, and death inside your tank. So, like... Making an aquarium can be difficult. We have at least one king damosel. Meet all the requirements of the damosel. Okay, so what does the damosel need? The damosel needs 55% water quality. 
It's got to be heated greater than or equal to whatever the hell that means right there. I honestly don't know. Let's go ahead and get this kitted out. I might need another orange pellet station too. Really the most efficient way to do this would just be to let the customers feed the fish. Because then we could charge them to feed the fish. That's all I'm saying is I sense an extra money making opportunity right now. Like will the fish get occasionally overfed? Absolutely. But that's why we just let them feed like the betas and the stuff that's like not important. You know, like the stuff that we can afford to lose, we just let them feed those. So there's our damocels. We got a new, we got an Arabian blue lined dotty back. That sounds cool. Let's get one of those. I don't mean to be negative right now, but I was kind of in the middle of deploying damocels. I don't want to add another filter. Where is this tank at right now? It's at 58%. How do these negatively affect the water? Oh, that's fine. I think we should be able to have like, oh no. Okay, so I'm going to have to double filter this one. We don't have the double filter. It's okay. It's okay. We can afford it. There we go. We'll just double filter it. It's going to be all right. And then we need some more light. We need some more. Yeah, there we go. Put that in right there. I'll probably go with, like, the same layout that we have in the other spot, like that right there. I mean, I know that the guests aren't going to like that, and it's not going to be, like, fascinating to them, but I'm still going to do it because, you know, I believe. New animals unlocked. We've got the Arabian blue-lined dotty bag. Dude, I'm pretty happy about this right now. I love fish tanks. I am a huge fish tank guy, so he's pugnacious. He's a bully, so he'll beat up wimps. Okay. So we want to keep him, we want to keep him a little bit separate. From all the other crazy shenanigans dude we're making like some serious money right now i'm kind of surprised by like how fast they're just like throwing money at me yeah go ahead and spend a grip of cash you gotta spend money to make money go ahead and do it uh, we'll close that down close that down and so we need an arabian blue lined dotty back okay we can make that happen i got the staff door right there but i really don't see a reason why i need it and like i want to keep the flow of traffic moving And so we'll put a partition right there just to make this look a little bit nicer, I think. Yeah. Maybe even, like, I don't know if this stuff needs to be fixed. Does this stuff have, like, a durability? Filter power helps maintain basic power. It's reliability. I don't know if this stuff breaks down. So what I was thinking is that we keep this entire area in a separate partition separated by hallways and then staff doors so that customers they never actually see any of the working stuff that's back behind the walls it's kind of what I was thinking so if we do something like that right there and something like that right there yup I mean some people are gonna get stuck inside that's gonna happen but that being said I would need a larger walkway for that to work though Mm. Now it's just looking a little bit messy. All right, we're going to fall back on that plan. We're going to fall back. I like my open floor plan. Never mind. We're going to fall back. There we go. And then we'll redo the walls right here. We'll keep the walkways open. Oh, there's no access point. Damn, dude, that adjacency is hurting me right now. Well, damn, that plan didn't work. Okay, never mind. I'll come up with a dope layout. You just got to let me think about it and theory craft it in my head when I don't have other stuff going on. That's all. You got to you got to let the craziness ensue. I'm going to put in a tank right there and we have the blue line dotty back. I don't know if putting like other stuff in the tank really matters. I mean, we could put some chromuses in here though. I don't see why not, like, like four chromuses, right? And then we like throw a filter in there, obviously. Throw a heater in there so that these dudes don't die off like instantly. We've got a couple chromuses. That dude's a wimp. Throw like a dotty back in there. And then like how much space does the, he takes up four, perfect. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, man. And then we got another basic filter that we're going to need on that side just to keep this thing up and moving, moving. Uh, driftwood cable. We'll rotate that. Put one, like, right over there and right over there. 
And then we'll have like a little bit of plant roughage right there. Yeah, it looks good to me. Sounds all right. Our next ecology project. Oh, we got the yellow tang. Cool. That's a pretty iconic aquarium fish, the yellow tang. That's a easy peasy. That one needs green pellets, though. Do we even have green pellets? Because I only have an orange pellet station. So me thinks that possibly I should probably line up access to a green pellet tank pretty soon before I deploy that guy. Well, we unlocked the yellow tang, so that's good. The yellow tang is here. New animals unlocked. The yellow tang. Nice. He needs green pellets. You've unlocked the yellow tang. Let's take a look. The yellow tang has a higher water quality requirement than your other animals. Therefore, you may need to have more filters or less fish in the tank. Notice that they also eat different types of food. He also likes plants, so he needs to have at least one plant in his little tang tank. All right. His tank, I guess, is what you could call it. So there's the yellow tang right there. He's going to negatively affect the water quality by six. So our water quality is at 800. It needs to be at 60, which means the max we can put in there is like five or six of these guys, right? Six. And he requires 60%. So, yeah, we could put six of these in here if we wanted to. But honestly, six of them won't even fit. So, like, you might as well just throw those in there. Wait, why did that go down to 46? Does it not start at 100? Hold on. So what has happened here? I thought maybe it started at 100% quality, but maybe the quality is dictated by the amount of filters attached to it instead. That'll do for the display right now. I don't think we have to do anything else in order to get this thing up and moving. We'll go ahead and heat the tank as well. Can you imagine the electricity bill if you run like an aquarium? It's got to be kind of crazy, right? It's got to be pretty gnarly having to pay the electrical. Like, I'm terrified of my electrical bill let alone the electrical bill of a place like this. Like, it's got to be bad. That explains why the ticket prices are so high, I think. Because ticket prices are kind of expensive. Like, and so it seems like it would make sense to me to have green feeders back here, and then we'll only do green fish back in this area because we're starting to get a little bit far from the orange feeders. And that kind of worries me. We may also need to hire on new staff. Like, how many people do we have? We have four. Eh, I think that'll be okay for right now. I think we're looking good. Back to the business at hand. We now have the Black Bar Soldier Fish. Because I'm a soldier. So we got to do a Black Bar Soldier Fish. I assume it's going to ask me if I want to do that soon. Uh, no, I don't want to switch research. I just want to like, yeah, there we go. Now let me do it. See, I knew they would let me do it. I need green pellets over here. Dude, I need to hire more staff. There, Where's my staff at? I got enough staff. I got staff problems. I don't have enough to feed my fishies. You'd think that three people could feed seven tanks pretty quickly. Maybe it takes more expertise than I know about, though. Like, maybe it takes a lot more effort. Can they do that from adjacent to, like, any side of the tank? Cool. We've already got the soldier fish. Nice. So they're nocturnal. They have to have a cave. And we got the driftwood cave. Okay. They also dislike lights. We don't have to worry about that, but later we'll need to light our tanks for certain plants and corals. So the black bar soldier fish should not be in the tanks where there's light bulbs. So they don't like UV light or whatever for the plants. Oh, nope. That was not what I wanted. I want that to, that needs to go away like right now. Although I guess you could have some of them flush and then you could have aisles. But I feel like that kind of messes with the flow of what we've got going on right now. Because we got like a serious flow rocking at the moment. All right. We're like, we're like killing it on the flow front. And I think that'll probably be our last tank for this little area. And then we'll start rearranging on a different side. I wonder if we're ever going to go to like a different... So we need one black bar soldier fish. Let's just start out with the black bar soldier fish since that's what it wants. Uh, we need a cave. So let's go ahead and we'll put like a black bar soldier fish in there. Put in like two for right now. I don't know how much water quality we're going to need. Water quality looks okay basic heater right there he need orange pellets so like realistically I should probably put him over here but like I'm lazy and I don't feel like rearranging everything you'd be amazed how many things I don't do in my life because I'm lazy so there's a big old cave right there and one of your guests has grown tired build some benches so they have a place to sit and rest okay yeah that's cool we can do like benches like we don't want to block aisle space, but your final challenge is to reach a target amount of prestige. Okay. That's easily enough done. Like, we don't want to block... Ew. We don't want to block aisleways if we can help it. 
There we go. So we got some benches around so the people can sit down, they can relax, and they can do their thing. I need a few more decorations inside of here. Like, let me let me get some decorations real quick. I know I don't, like, need them, but I like the way it looks. It makes me happy. It pleases me. And so we've got eight of them inside of there. Water quality. What do they cost? Like, they cost four. All right, do another one. I mean, if it fits in there, it fits in there. I'm trying to bring in these revenues, son. I'm trying to get paid. And so in three minutes, we will be done with this quest. But we're done right now with the episode. So my name is Splattercat. This is Mega Aquarium. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. If you don't know who I am, I show off any games on the internet every single day and sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile so that you don't have to. I think I'm going to play more of this game. I like it. I think we're going to play more on the channel. I'll see you all later. Thanks for stopping on by. Grab the game down below if you want to. And don't forget to leave a like on the video. It helps out more than you know. If you wanted to support my never-ending quest for indie games, you can swing through the Patreon as well. Although it's never expected or required. I'll see y'all later. Hi, do.